Hi, everyone. I'm Telmi. And I'm Zareen. And we are the MRC Girls coming to you from White County, Arkansas. We are volunteers of the White County Medical Reserve Corps, and our show is about us, pharmacy students, educating others about public health. To learn more about what we do, read the description below and subscribe to our page. Yes, please subscribe to our page, and let's get started with episode number six. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be answering some questions that we have received about vaccines. We'll be discussing four common myths about vaccines. So let's get started. Zareen? Hi. So today we have a story from Janet from Mississippi. And she writes that she has a vast distrust in vaccines. And she heard from her friends on Facebook that vaccines cause autism. So she's wondering if that is true or not. Well, Janet, I'm here to let you know that this is the number one myth about vaccines, that vaccines cause autism. The facts are that they do not cause autism. What your friends on Facebook are most referring to, are most referencing is the 1998 study where a doctor claimed that there was a link between vaccines and autism, but that was completely disproven. Some people have concerns about autism spectrum disorder or ASD, which might be linked to vaccines that children receive, but studies have shown that there is no link between receiving vaccines and developing autism spectrum disorder. Interesting, Zareen. We have another story from Candace from Texas. And she writes that she is a strong anti-vaxxer and her reasoning is because vaccines contain toxic additives, which is called thimerosal, and it was found to be harmful to children and others. This brings us to myth number two. Vaccines have toxic adjuvants such as thimerosal. Well, the fact is, there is no evidence of harm caused by low doses of thimerosal in vaccines, except for minor reactions like redness and swelling at the injection site. However, in July 1999, the public health service agencies, the Acad American Academy of Pediatrics, and vaccine manufacturers agreed that thimerosal should be reduced or eliminated in vaccines as a precautionary measure. Wow, Tommy, that's excellent information. Next, we have Catherine from Tennessee, who writes that the reason she avoids vaccines is because she believes it's only for viruses, and most viruses don't exist anymore. Which brings us to myth number three, that vaccines are only for viruses. The facts are that vaccines are used for multiple reasons. Vaccines are our best defense against infections that may have serious complications, such as pneumonia, meningitis, cancer, and even death. Some of the complications occur from catching infections that could have been prevented with a vaccine. What's next, Tommy? That's great information, Zareen. Next, we have Kelsey from Montana. And she writes that she doesn't believe in, va in getting vaccines because they make you sick and not healthy. When she got her flu shot last year, she got sick shortly after. Well, that brings us to myth number four. Vaccines make you sick. The fact is, vaccines, like any medication, may cause some side effects. Most of these side effects are very minor, like a soreness where the shot was given or a low-grade fever. These only last a couple of days, and they are treatable. Every year, tens of thousands of Americans get sick from diseases that can be prevented by vaccines. Some people are hospitalized and some even die. Immunization is our best protection against these diseases. Well, that's all the time that we have for myths about vaccines. Thank you to all of our viewers that participated in this video, and we hope we are able to clarify this information for you. See you next time. All of this information was brought to you by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. We will have a link in the description below where you can read more. That's all for now. Thanks for tuning in to the MRC Girls. Join us next time when we talk about something else to educate the public about. For the MRC Girls, and we're signing off. Bye. Bye.
and our show is about us, pharmacy students, educating about others about public health. <laughs> to learn more about what we do. <laughs> and we are the MRC girls coming to you from White County, Arkansas. <laughs> what? <laughs> we are volunteers for the medical white kids. <laughs> As vaccines contain toxic additives, which is called dimerhoin. <laughs> Every year. 